The UIL has just released their new realignment for 2024 that will lead up through the 2027 season. For the Hempstead Bobcats, the Hempstead Bobcats will be traveling the furthest. They'll be in District 12A for the Division 3. And um, the Bobcats will be lined up with Hitchcock, Hattiesville, Columbus, and Yoakum. Now, for the Bobcats, the closest school with this realignment will be Columbus. That's about 45 miles away from the campus of Hempstead. They'll have another 83 to 84 miles to get to Hitchcock or Hallisville, and then it's 89 miles or so to Hitchcock. And in the case of Yoakum, it's about 102 miles away from the campus of the Bobcats. So they'll be doing a little bit more traveling. That's the case when you have your 3A divisions, and I think they'll be in Division 2, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, they'll they'll travel a little bit further. So you have to pack a little earlier and a little bit heavier to um, get those snacks on the road to catch up with the Bobcats in action on the road. So once again, those newly realigned opponents for the Hempstead Bobcats will be Yoakum, Hallisville, Hitchcock, and Columbia. The new look district for the Royal Falcons will look like Sweeney, Lamarck, Katie Harmony, and Harmony School of Innovation. You'll also have West Columbia and Wharton included with the new look district for the Royal Falcons. Now, in the case of Royal with their new realignment, West Columbia will be the furthest school away from them, about 58 miles, followed by Wharton at about 41 miles away. Other schools, uh, the Harmony schools, about 20 miles, 21 miles away. So it won't be that bad of a travel for the Royal Falcons. Now, when you look in the case of the Walla Bulldogs, they probably got the best deal when it comes to uh, distance-wise with the realignment. Now, the 6A division for Waller, their following uh, opponents would be as such. Langham Creek, Cypress Woods, Cypress Springs, Cypress Ranch, Cypress Parks, Cypress Lakes, and the Bridgelands. Now, of course, these Cypress schools play at the Berry Center, and Walla will only have to do a 22-mile one-way trip just to get to those games. So they definitely get the best benefit when it comes to travel. But regardless of where these teams will be playing, the Open Mic Broadcast Network plans to be there to give you the scores, updates, and highlights of everything that is going on throughout the new district realignments from the UIL starting this coming fall for 2024. And of course, we have the 2024 football schedule for the Prairie View a and University Panthers. There will be 12 games for 2024 this uh, coming season. Of course, they'll open up with the Labor Day Classic on August 31st, where they'll take on the Texas Southern Tigers. On September the 7th, they'll take on Northwestern State at Northwestern State. Of course, the big one will be September the 14th at Michigan State. Panthers will open up at the September 21st mark against the Southern Jags. Meant to mention, too, that they'll also be at home for the Labor Day Classic as well. So this will actually be game number two at home. 
September 28th, they'll meet in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl to take on the Grambling State Tigers. Headed into October, October 5th, they'll get to San Antonio to take on Incarnate Word. October 12th, the Panthers will get on the road to take on the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Panthers will have a bye on October 19th as they prepare for the October 26th homecoming matchup against Texas A&M Commerce. November 2nd, the Panthers will travel to Itabina, Mississippi to take on the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. November 9th, the Panthers will host the FAMU Rattlers. The final home game of 2024 will be November 16th as they'll take on the Alcorn State Braves. And the Panthers will close out the 2024 season on November 23rd against the Alabama State Hornets in Montgomery, Alabama. And of course, we will bring you all the uh, score and update information for the Prairie View a and University Panthers. And we're actually going to be adding, or at least got on the whiteboard, to add some more local high school coverage and uh, insights throughout the 2024 campaign. Do remember to stay up to date and inform as we release information on these particular schools and other Texas-based programs through our X handle at the Mike Prince Show and for updated content through our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network.